Hey friend, welcome to my podcast, The Fit Soul. I'm your host, Amy Ramsey. In this podcast, we will be discussing soul-filled strategies to unleash your confidence, increase your energy, and all the things healthy lifestyle. If you're a Christian woman who is ready to reach your God-given potential, walk worthy of your calling with abundant joy and energy, girlfriend, you are in the right spot. I mean, you only have one life to live. You might as well maximize it. Buckle in and thanks for listening. Ooh, this is such a special day. And this is a, actually a really special episode. <laughs> and you're going to find out why here in just a moment. I'm interviewing my friend, Brittany Estes. Brittany is exceptional. How we met is a crazy God story, and we actually share it on the podcast. But, you know, sometimes when you meet really unique, authentic, special people, and they're world changers, they have a big vision, and they're walking fully in it, that's who Brittany is. How we met was so interesting. And then when I got to know her, I was like, wow. She's the real deal. So not only is she a wife and super supportive of her husband who is in ministry, they have seven children. Seven, y'all, seven. Two are adopted. And I think, I think they want to adopt more. And she is, uh, she works. She's a coach. She also is a runner. She pursues traveling and running marathons. And God laid this book on her heart, and this message is so good. It's really transformational. I so highly recommend that you grab this book. You'll learn more about it here in just a second. But I just wanted to share with you that she's the real deal, and she this, this message is so good. So enjoy this podcast, and you're going to want to hang on to the very, very end because she actually is giving the Fit Soul listeners an incredible giveaway. You can't find this anywhere else. It's something super special to you. So you're going to want to listen to the end and figure out how you can enter this giveaway. All right. Enjoy this podcast. Brittany Estes, welcome to the podcast. Yay. Thank you. Yes. I'm so excited to have you on. And today is an incredibly special day. What is today, Brittany? Today, my book, Flip the Script, Make Your Move from Broken to Brilliant, launches into the world. So I am so excited. This is such an exciting day. Like, yeah, I know. This is like a massive day for you. Congratulations, friend. Thank you. Thank you. It's like years. I mean, when you write a book, it's years worth of work and you wait for this day to come. So the fact that it's actually here, it feels completely surreal. Like, did I really just do this? Like the first time I held my book, I thought, is this, is this really me? Is this really my words? What? So this is huge. This is absolutely this is huge. huge. This is girl. We <laughs> celebrate you. I am so excited. So you guys, Brittany is a friend of mine. Brittany is a professional and personal coach for more than 10 years. Uh, she mm-hmm. serves in ministry um, with her husband. Actually, we go to the same church, which is unusual. We're going to share how we met here in just a minute because <laughs> we didn't meet at church. <laughs> I know. We go to a very big church. So you oftentimes don't meet people. But Brittany has not one, not two, not three, not four kids. Nope. Keep counting. Five. Nope. Seven. Yep. Seven. She's got seven. <laughs> I forgot six. She's got seven. <laughs> I do. Sometimes I forget six too. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what are their ages? 16 down to nine. 16 down to nine. They're really close in age. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. Two children are adopted and Brittany mm-hmm. is um, a runner another thing that we have in common Mm -hmm. yeah so um yeah yeah yeah. all right so Amy I have a question for you you've run half marathons but you've also run fulls correct no I have not run a full I do not plan on running a full it is nowhere (laughs) on any type of a bucket list that of anything that I want to do ever in my life ever and I know that probably because I'm saying that 
know, that's, uh, that's what I used to say. So that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> but I have run 25 half marathons. Right. So if you put those together, then you've run like 20 or 12 marathons, technically. I've run 12 marathons, practically. <laughs> right. <laughs> Same thing. Same, Same thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I've got that done. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Okay, Brittany, I love our story of how we met and we just realized how even almost more significant the story is of how we met. And I feel like we just, it would be, um, it would, it would be wrong if we didn't share this. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Okay. One day, once upon a time, one day (laughs) I woke up, I had a different morning. I don't know if I've even told you this story. I bet I haven't. It's going to be new for you. Okay. All right. So I had this morning where I was going to get lab strong. I wake up really early every morning and I start my morning. I have a routine and and I need my routine in the morning. I'm just very regimented about that, but I couldn't have coffee this morning because I was going to get my labs drawn and you can't get your labs drawn until eight o'clock. And I couldn't exercise before I had my labs drawn. So it's like, bam, (laughs) Everything in my world is not right because of all of the things I just said about. <laughs> so I woke up and I had a quiet time and I'm like, okay. And I just had this moment of, you know what? Today, I it's like the Lord had spoken to me. Go and get intentional and get off your phone. And when you're in places, try to... uh, serve people, see how you can talk to people and like, just, you know, share with people. Because Mm -hmm. I'm so like, at that point in my life, I was so distracted. Like if I was in a line somewhere, I'm I'm on my phone, I'm working, right. Or I'm texting back or I'm doing this. Like, I'm just, you know, not present in, in wherever the moment is. So this, this morning I started my day with an intentionality to be incredibly present with wherever I went. And I was off my mojo because I'm not off of my routine. I had to wait till LabCorp opens. I go to LabCorp, get my labs drawn. And they were kind of running late. So I can't go straight to the gym. So I just go to Starbucks. And I'm just going to drink a little cup of coffee. I think I even have my computer. I'm going to do a little bit of work. And then I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to get back on my routine. So I'm in Starbucks and this super cute girl was standing in front of me. And she was darling. And my instinct was to get up my phone and get some work done until I got to my place in line. But I didn't. I was intentional. And I said, oh, you've got the cutest sweatshirt. That is so cute. I was just going to make conversation. (laughs) And this beautiful young lady turns around. She's like, thank you. And her eyes were all puffy. She had clearly been crying. And I was like, oh, honey, are you okay? She goes, no. And she just kind of melted into some tears. <sighs> I just squeezed her and we became just like instant little BFFs right there in Starbucks in this line. And she shared with me her journey that she had been here on an internship and that in her internship, it was over and she was literally leaving from Starbucks to go back home. And then she was going to mm-hmm. go do a mission trip and life was happening fast and it was bittersweet and she was really sad, but she was okay. And all the things, and she just needed a big old hug. She just yeah. needed her mama bear hog and I just squeezed her mm-hmm. and we sat outside, we took some pictures together and we connected mm-hmm. and I put it in my stories um, and tagged McKenzie and you dropped in my DMs from that one post. Yeah. Yeah. Significant because. Because Kenzie actually was living with us that summer. So she was a girl that we knew loved for years and she was living at my house and she was literally leaving. We all hugged her. We prayed over her and we sent her out and she happened in that Starbucks. So she was just so distraught and sad about it. But she called me and told me that she had met this girl on Instagram who was just talking to her and loved on her and stuff. So I knew about you and that's what made me go check your Instagram and you had tagged her and I was like, Hey, I need you to know how amazing that was that you reached out to this girl because she means the world to us. And it kind of brought us together. McKenzie did. So yeah. <laughs> so thank you, McKenzie. <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) So exciting. I just love, so we, Brittany and I have felt a a God connection from that one story that it's just, it's (laughs) things don't happen by accident. It's not a con, you know, um, but so I'm going to say consequence. It's not a consequence. It's not a coincidence there, but what was really cool is that we're going to talk about this book, flip the script, make your move from broken to brilliant. 
I just got my copy in. I'm, I'm just starting to read it. And I was reading in the um, foreword that this book is the first two people it says is to Rachel and to Kinsey. And I said, wait a minute, is this book written to our Kinsey, the connection that we have? And it is. So it is. I know our Kinsey. Look at her bringing us together again. <laughs> Well, I know. So that being said, um, all right, Brittany, this is again, mm -hmm. massive day. So exciting. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad that we've gotten to connect and I've gotten to know your heart and your mission mm -hmm. and watch you in action behind the scenes more than just a launch day on a book. And tell me more about your book. Like I know your heart and I know your passion to help others. And you are amazing. You truly are. And girl, this book mm. is something to be proud of. Wow. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Is, I'm really excited about it. It is so good. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about flip the script, make your move from broken to brilliant? Yeah. So this book was kind of out of my time when I was mentoring girls like Kinsey and things like that. And I just, the Lord really showed me, this is what's wrong with our culture and with women today is they are believing and like agreeing with all these lies and broken statements and it's wrecking them. It's causing them to deal with depression and, and uh, ideations that are, you know, not helpful. They're harmful, you know, um, and just making them freeze or hide, like not even stepping out into their calling and their purpose and stuff. And um, he just was like, this is what you need to write about. And so this book is all about helping women identify those broken statements, how to flip them and replace them with the truth of God's word and who he says that you really are. And how do you walk forward in that in such a positive new narrative? So, yeah. Oh, so, so good. So this is, so the inspiration behind this is young women, but would you say this book, what age group would you say this book is for? The, so the brilliant thing and only the Lord could have done is made it for every woman. Honestly, I think every stinking human, but when I first started, it was for that younger 20 to 30 year old woman, because I was like, I want to come alongside of you and help you grow and help you not be where I am at my age. But the problem is I am where I am at my age. And there's so many other women, my age and older dealing with that. I had, so with the fluke on Amazon, people have gotten this book early and I've had, it's been actually a blessing, but I've had people reach out to me and say, I hope you know how much this book means to me. Like one lady was like, I'm 53 years old and you just identified where I am. And I think I can move past that 53. And my goal was 20 to 30. So the Lord was really what you think it's for. I'm just going to explode it. So it's really been such a gift to see women of all ages say like, this is me but there's something more, there's a future and I can move forward into that brilliant script. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this. And I love the way that the book is broken down because um, when I was just flipping through the chapters and, and seeing yeah. how, how you've laid it out and it's very sometimes uh, mindset work and, and learning to step into your identity in Christ, which is what this is, is stepping mm -hmm. into God mm -hmm. says that you are, it can be a little overwhelming. And the beauty yeah. of yeah. this book is that it's succinct and it's very, very clear for where you're struggling. And, and you really deal with issues of feeling like a failure, unworthiness, comparison, um, feeling broken and alone and feeling ashamed and you take that mm -hmm. and you literally in the book, you show how to flip the script and how to build, basically build new neural pathways, right? Really build in yes. you know, new thought processes based on God's word and who, we, who he says that we are. Yeah. How important is yeah. the idea of Christ? How important is it for us as Christians to not like forget what we've heard about that in church. And, 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 and I think a lot of people feel like identity in Christ, they've heard that so much that it just is white noise. Mm. How can we take yeah. that, flip the script on that and help women here that are listening, understand this is everything to your freedom, everything, everything. I think the problem is we've kind of flowery and made it really frilly and fun. This idea of your worth in Christ and your identity and stuff. And it almost feels unobtainable because it's just so pretty and idealized and things like that. And we're like, but I'm so broken. I can never get to that. And 
that's where we've kind of shut ourselves off or we've thought we are so unworthy of God's sacrifice. And, and there's a piece of that, but he thought we were worthy enough to die for us and redeem us. And we forget to walk into that. So the thing that I like about this book is it can be overwhelming and it can be a lot. And there's some books out there, they're all needed, but talk really about statistics and neuro pathways and things like that. And that feels like a lot too, because you're like, I'm not smart enough for this. And this book is really like, here's where you are. I see you. I've been there or I've walked with people who have been there. It's super simple. We don't have to overcomplicate it, but I want to show you this is how you can do it in your life. And it's small, simple steps. It's not like you can flip a switch because that's what we believe. Like if it's real, it will be instant or we can step out of that. But it's a day to day process of this is where I'm going to align today. Or no, I'm not going to agree with that statement. Or this is how I'm going to walk out of these things. And I think when we start making small progress, we can say, oh my goodness, this whole process is a journey and seeing what our identity is in Christ. And we are actually worthy of standing in that identity. If we operate in anything less than who he says we are, then it's false. And when we make decisions and things in our false identity, that's when we're just kind of broken and make a lot of wrong choices or hide and don't really live a life that he's called us to live to. That's right. That's right. That's so good, Brittany. Um, You know, one of the things in my own story is that I didn't realize I was stuck in a, an incredible Mm -hmm. cycle of unworthiness and shame. It was suffocating my soul. And I really just had come to terms with it is what it is. You know, I've got a, I've got a past. I've been divorced twice and, you know, God can't actually use somebody like me. Like my little voice just needs mm-hmm. to stay a little because I've embarrassed him. And I know he loves mm. me. I know he loves me. I knew I was loved and I didn't know that I was, I, I, I had a lens of shame looking at my yeah. life. Like I didn't know what I didn't know. I yeah. was, I was so broken in, in, in Mm -hmm. shame. I was stuck in shame. And so my whole process of understanding what it means to get free wasn't even that I didn't think I was worthy. I didn't know that I was like so subconscious. And so what do you say? That's how, yeah. Well, I was going to say, that's how a lot of women are. They hear these words and think that's not me. Or I understand that. I know he loves me or, or I know this. And that's where I'm like, no, no, no. I just need you to trust me. I would bet every single human being is a believing some lie or some script through some of these filters. And because of that, we are hiding. Can you imagine your life, Amy, had you not resolved that and stepped out? Like you were like a little voice. And I'm thinking that is the last thing I think of when I think of you, because I've, <laughs> I've known the free version of you, not like free, like the cheap version or whatever. I've known the freedom side, you know? <laughs> And I'm thinking this side is incredible. And the lives that you've impacted by that because you're walking in that freedom. So Mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, there is, everyone is, even me, there was a time where I had to walk through, even as I've kind of walked through the obvious scripts that I believed where there was a season where I thought I'm the hit or miss girl. Everyone gets these things or does these things, even like writing this book. Like I have to continually be like, oh, someone calls me out on it. That's a lie, Brittany. And I'm like, oh, you're right. That makes no sense because God would not think, oh, Selma almost got it. That's fine. Next time, maybe or I'll give it to someone else because they can steward the gift better or whatever. That's not how he operates. Yeah. Um, but one of the ways that I think I've taught people or I've written in here to recognize, is this a script that needs to be dealt with is follow it up with in Jesus name. So if you are taking a statement like, oh, I've let God down and he can use someone else better in Jesus. Well, that doesn't sound right. Like he doesn't just say, awesome. I had a job for you to do, but now we're going to shelve you and pull someone else in because you've kind of made a mockery of my name. You know, how the gospel works. He gives you the chance to, I mean, he gives you the ability to, you know, repent and turn back. And it's such a beautiful redemptive story. He wants to use it. Romans 8, 28 for our good and his glory. So we have to believe that. So when we say the statement, whatever it is, followed by in Jesus name, if it sounds off, like I'm dumb in Jesus name, well, that that. doesn't sound correct. Right. Then then we know there's something that needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I absolutely love that. Um, and it's so important to understand that God has created us to shine. 
we are actually created yes. to be brilliant. And like, if you're still struggling with, well, I kind of just, it is what it is mentality. Like this is where I am. If it's anything less than brilliant and in, 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 in his design for you, then it's not right. Like that's another filter. Exactly. Is, is it, does it still feel broken? Right. Right. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. Anything less than shining is not fully living. Yes. Oh yes. And there's so much freedom. There's so much freedom mm-hmm. when you walk in your identity and who God says that you are as a believer. This is, mm-hmm. we're talking believer talk. We're talking Jesus talk, believer talk, right? Um, when you walk right. in that, and when you walk worthy in that calling, this is what he's calling us to. And I believe it's so important for this book and this message to go out because it is time. Oh, oh, I'm feeling real sassy right this second, but it is time <laughs> to get to the place where you're not stuck in the broken cycles. You guys, we yes. are necessary. Your voice is needed and necessary. The message that only you have that you can bring to other people is needed and necessary because of your brokenness. Because of your yes. brokenness, you can help more people because of what you've been mm-hmm. through. And that's just so powerful right. to understand. Right. Well, there is absolutely no perfect person. Only one person walked this earth who is perfect. It's not you, Amy. It's not me. It was Jesus. So the idea of thinking that we have to be perfect to be used by God is ludicrous. But that's what, when you said it's actually more beneficial to bring those broken places and say, this is how God redeemed them to people who are broken because everyone's broken to show them that there's hope and there's a future and that they too can walk in their purpose. They haven't messed it up. They haven't lost it. They can have the audacity to hope and take life by the you know horns and say, I'm going to go like, this is what he's done. This is how he's redeemed me. And I don't have to be ashamed of that because look what he's done. Amazing. 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 Um, okay. So can you give in through this book, what is your biggest message or biggest hope that you have? If somebody's in the book, maybe in a Barnes and Noble or they're flipping on Amazon and they see different ones. How and why is this one going to be the one that they need to go ahead and pick up and grab? Um, I think it's probably the most beneficial. Well, cause I wrote it. No, I'm kidding. Not because of that. Um, <laughs> but because it really and truly shows like actual people's lives who have been changed. I want you to recognize yourself in these stories. I want you then to see that there is hope for the future. And then I don't want you to close the book and be like, I'm done. I want you to use the pieces and the steps that I've said, if this is where you're dealing with, this is how we can walk through to freedom. If this is where you're at, this is how we can walk through to freedom. It's not just a book for you to read and close and put it down. This is like your lifeline to walk yourself into freedom. And then my hope is that you'll grab someone else and say, I'm here. Here's the, what freedom looks like. Let me help you get there. So it's not just a journey for you. It's for you to then stop looking at yourself because we've got this settled and then start looking at other people saying, how can I help them? That's right. We're all called to leadership, aren't we? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we are. Your stories are so heartfelt and they are. When I read this story, I haven't read it all. I'm actually leaving early in the morning on a plane. So I'll have some, some time to, to read it. I'm so excited though, to read through every word of this. But um, when I, I don't remember which chapter it is, but there's a lady who talks about having an abortion and um, Mm -hmm. the shame that she felt from that abortion. I've not had an abortion, but I was able to see myself feeling so stuck in that place of unworthiness and shame. So you really do a Mm -hmm. good job. Mm -hmm. And and it's so funny too. Like you're, you're so dang funny anyway, but it comes across really well. (laughs) Like marry the deep with the funny. That's my hope. Like I guess we're going deep, but there'll be some laughs. It's okay. <laughs> like Jeb, 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 smile. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh my Something goodness. Like that. Yeah. Something like that. Um, okay. So Brittany, I want, you have offered something really exciting for our, our, um, somebody, a lucky winner on this actual podcast. Can you share with them what it is that you're giving? Yeah. So a part of the book launch process, you get to send out a handy dandy box to special authors and other people just, they're called influencer boxes. So you get the book, you get some goodies to go with it. 
And um, I offered Amy, you guys, your listeners, one box, but then I paired with them this course. It's a coaching community, exclusive um, community where we can walk through the scripts together. So it um, it's called Story Sisters, a coaching community for women ready to flip their scripts. And we have live coaching calls that I'm going to walk women through um, a group of women together. So you're not walking it alone. So it also helps you when you see other people walking through your journey to partner with them and then encouragement. So that's actually the whole kit is $799 value where I'm thinking like, here, take the book, get the fun little sparkly things that go in the influencer box and then pair it with the coaching community. So you can do it all together and really find your place to freedom. That is so generous. You guys, this is awesome. Now to enter for this incredible, and this is $799 launch value. Yeah. So we're calling it the flip the script fit soul launch. <laughs> um, what you're going to do is if you want to um, register or to enter for this giveaway, you're going to text the word flip to the phone number 601-808-5775. Let me say that again. Text the word flip to the phone number 601-808-5775 and you'll be entered for this drawing. So you'll want to do that right away. We'll we'll draw that in the next um, several days. We're so excited. I definitely, you definitely want to go order this book and it's flip the script. Yes. Make your move from broken to brilliant. It's so beautiful. Like I love the color. I love, I love the whole cover of it. It's just really a beautiful book. The inside's really pretty. And this is uh, by Brittany Estes. So Brittany, where can people find you and connect with you? Yeah. So online, it's super easy to find me. It's J Brittany Estes. So you can type that into Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places. My favorite is Instagram because I'm a real girl. So I love the videos and stuff, but anywhere that has social media, J Brittany Estes is where you can find me. And my website is BrittanyEstes.com. Okay. Amazing. So when they get this book, what do you want them to do with it? You want them to post, um, post it on social media and tag you? Yes, please post it and tag me. Actually this week I have a challenge, a giveaway going on for anyone who gets the book and sends a picture in, I have a, an amazing package that you can look at on social media and, um, find for a giveaway. So, okay. That's amazing. So you guys let's, um, support Brittany, go support Brittany, go buy this book. Is Amazon the best place that you can recommend for this? Is it going to be a bookstore? Yes. It's you. Yes. It's really at any major retailer, but Amazon's the easiest one. Everyone goes to Amazon these days. So it's easier to funnel right through there. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I agree. So all right, Fit Soul family, y'all support Brittany, go buy this book and then post it on social media. Let's help get this word out because women need to walk in freedom. They need freedom. And it, yes. starts, it starts in your mind. You are what you think you are as a, as a woman think it's so she is. So we're going to flip the script and um, really, truly make our move from broken to brilliant. It is time. It is time. It is time. It is time to do that. It really is. We need a host of women that are linking arms. Iron sharpens iron. Come on, girl. Oh, you had that. I've had that too. Let me help you. You've, you've struggled with that. Like we really, I mean, there's a calling forth right now. I feel in my spirit, there's a calling forth of Christians to move forward, to be faithful, to walk worthy. And you can't do it with the, in, in those broken places. You can't stay there and do that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. God's calling us to more. He just is. Right. Yeah. And freedom is contagious. That's what I've oh, noticed. No. When you walk in freedom, other people see it and they're like, what is this? And oh, you awesome. help them walk in freedom. Like it's just, it's magnetic. It just happens. That's so good. Well, um, girl, I am so uh, honored to link arms with you and to walk in freedom with you. You are contagious. Oh, you are absolutely <laughs> contagious. Thank you. you too. <laughs> We're quite the pair us. I know it's a lot of energy, <laughs> both of us together, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Brittany, thank you so much for being on the show today. Uh, we are praying for you. It's an honor to have you on launch day. Like this is so exciting. So congratulations, thank friend. Thank you for having me. Just the beginning. And we will definitely have you back on soon. We want you to come back. You want to come back? Uh, to of show? course. Sign me up. Um, okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. We will see you next time. Bye. Hey, friend. 
You've heard it said, win the morning, win the day. And I absolutely believe that. That's why I created the Worthy Morning Routine. This routine will give you more peace, energy, productivity, focus, clarity, and abundance to win the day. Each strategic step is a soulful approach to strengthening your relationship with Christ and also scientifically proven to prime your brain for success. So this Worthy Morning Routine will help you prepare spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically to win your day. And guess what? It's absolutely free. You can head over to thefitsoul.com and grab it there for free. Girlfriend, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I'm so honored you come back every week and that you share the Fit Soul podcast with your friends and family. Every time you share my podcast on Instagram or Facebook, I do a little happy dance. Make sure you subscribe to the Fit Soul podcast where you'll never miss an episode. You can go to podcast, Apple, Stitcher, and Spotify and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode release. And just know, I truly love bringing you excellent content and great guests to provide you motivation and faith inspiration to help you walk worthy. And one of the ways you can help me is to go and leave the Fit Soul Podcast a review. If you have just a moment, would you please go over and leave a review for the Fit Soul Podcast? Thank you again. I love you. And here is your reminder. You are worthy. Until next time. Bye-bye.